Trayvon Martin's mother hears Trayvon uh, screaming in the courtroom. She's being uh, uh, questioned by the prosecutor and by the defense. All right. My first name is S-Y-B-R-I-N-A. The last name is Fulton, F-U-L-T-O-N. Are you married, ma'am? I'm divorced. And do you have any children? Yes, I do. And can you tell us who they are and their names? My youngest son is Trayvon Benjamin Martin. He's in heaven. And my oldest son is Javaris Lamar Fulton. Uh, do you live in Miami, ma'am? Yes, I do. And have you lived in Miami your entire life? Yes, I have. And who do you live in Miami with? Um, my son, Javaris Fulton, and my brother, Ronald Fulton. Okay. Um, was Javon Benjamin Martin your son? Yes, he was. And was his date of birth February the 5th of 1995? Yes, it is. Are you working at this time, ma'am? I am employed. I'm on leave right now. Okay. Where are you currently employed, or who are you currently employed with where you're on leave? Uh, I actually work for Miami-Dade County uh, Public Housing and Community Development. Okay. How long have you been working there, ma'am? Uh, I've been with the county for 24 years. I've been with the housing agency for about 10 years. And prior to going to the housing agency... Actually, uh, this is going to be... I didn't know I was going to get all this part, so just fast forward to the part where Trayvon is screaming and the mother has to hear her son screaming in court on the stand. So you might want to fast forward a little bit past this part. Uh, you see, what did you do? Uh, I did code enforcement for 11 years. And can you briefly tell us about your education background, ma'am? I have a bachelor's degree um, with a minor in communications uh, from Grambling State University. It was half of my courses, and I graduated from Florida Memorial University in Miami. What was your major? I'm sorry. My major was English with a minor in communications. Okay. Was Trayvon Martin right or left-handed? Trayvon was right-handed. Trayvon Martin had two tattoos on his body. Do you know where they were on his body? He had uh, praying hands on his right upper shoulder uh, with his grandmother's and great-grandmother's name. That's the first tattoo. Um, they were praying hands, and they had pearls going through them. Okay. And do you know where the other tattoo was? The other tattoo was on his... A left wrist, he had my name there. Okay. Prior to your son's death, Bad ass. had you heard him crying or yelling prior to his death? Had you ever heard him while he was growing up, while you were raising him, had you ever heard him crying or yelling? Yes. Okay. I want to play a recording for you, ma'am. Trayvon Martin 
is dead, laying face down in the wet dirt as it rains on his body. Zimmerman walks away. Yes, his head is bleeding, but largely superficial wounds. Now, all of that will be thrown into the pot as the jury mulls a verdict. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Firstly, to apologize for your loss. Jenny's improper. Without a question. Okay, oh, you need to sorry. ask a question. Excuse me? We, we need to ask a question. You, um, will you tell us the first time that you listened to that tape when you listened to it. Where were you? I was here in Sanford. Um, I believe it was the mayor's office. And I was um, pursuant to a request made by your lawyers to have that tape released, correct? That's correct. And um, my understanding is that that happened actually in the mayor's office, correct? Yes. And there were no law enforcement officers present? They were there, but they wasn't actually in the room. They were actually not allowed in the room, correct? I don't know about that. Um, were you present there when Chief Lee was talking to the mayor and to city manager of Bonaparte about the concern with having the tank released? Judge, Mr. Hearsay. I asked whether or not she was there. Yeah, the question. My objection is to hearsay what somebody else said in her presence. It will be sustained as to hearsay. Rephrase your question. Uh, were you there uh, during the time that um, Chief Lee, Chief of Police Lee, was having a conversation with the mayor and city manager Bonaparte? No. When the tape was played for you, who played it for you? I'm not absolutely sure. I'm just trying to remember back. I think it was the mayor. Um, it was not a law enforcement officer, correct? It was not. And who was in the room when that tape was played? Trayvon's dad, Tracy Martin, Javaris Fulton, Stephanie Sands, Darian Sands, Benjamin Crump, Attorney Natalie Jackson. Um, I believe Mayor Triplett was there, and um, that there may have been one other person. Um, not absolutely sure, but I think Bonaparte was there. When you say Bonaparte, that's Sanford City Manager Bonaparte? Yes. Was the tape, the first time that you heard that tape, was it played at one time for everybody who was in the room? Yes. Um, did any one of those witnesses listen to the tape individually? Or was it all at one time? Um, I don't know if they listened individually, but that was my first time hearing it. Well, had anybody indicated to you in that group that they had listened to the tape before? No. Did Tracy Martin tell you you listened to the tape before? No. Had you had any conversations with him about listening to the tape before that event? No. Imagine that it was probably one of the worst things that you went through to listen to the tape, correct? Absolutely. And that if it was your son, in fact, screaming as you testified, that would suggest that it was Mr. Zimmerman's fault that led to his death, correct? Correct. And if it was not your son screaming, if it was, in fact, your Zimmerman, then you would have to accept the probability that it was Trayvon Martin who caused his own death, correct? I don't understand your question. <laughs> if you were to listen to that tape and not hear your son's voice, that would mean that it would have been George Zimmerman's voice, correct? And not hear my son screaming? Correct. Is that what you're asking? Yes, ma'am. 
I heard my son scream. I understand. The alternative, the only alternative, do you agree, would be that if it was not your son screaming, that it would be George Zimmerman, correct? Objection is a speculation. Sustained. You certainly had to hope that that was your son screaming even before you heard it, correct? I didn't hope for anything. Mm. I just simply listened to the tape. Mm -hmm. Fucking asshole. And in your mind, as his mother, there was no doubt whatsoever that it was him screaming, correct? Absolutely. Did you have any thought in mind how you would react if, it, if you believed or didn't hear your son's voice? I really didn't know what the tape was all about. And everybody else in the room, when they listened to the tape, who was the first one to react? I was. And everybody else then reacted similarly to you, correct? Well, they also heard the tape themselves. Correct. And every one of them then told you that they agree with your opinion that it was Trayvon Martin's voice, correct? They didn't tell me anything. about nobody spoke to you to tell you that you would soon be listening to screams from the event that led to your son's death? No. Mayor Triplett never said anything like that to you? No. Nor did any of your other family members? They hadn't heard the tape at that time. But the question is whether or not anyone told you to prepare yourself for the event, for the trauma, of having to listen to somebody scream um, moments before your son was shot? No. Nobody mentioned that to you? No. Tracy Martin never told me that? Okay, you? this no. is getting close to the end of uh, YouTube's 15 minute time. And you just need <coughs> so to listen to it one time, correct? I'm probably going to end this video. Oh, I'm not. End the video.